In this video, I'm going to show you how I do a little bit of organizing and decluttering. So if you're interested, you know what to do. Stick around. Hello everyone, this is Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me and you're in the right place if you want to make decorating a bit easier on a budget. If so, then click that red subscribe button, a bell will appear, click that bell and then click all. And you'll be notified each time I upload something new. Now today, I am participating in an open invitation collaboration. Now this collaboration is entitled, Under the Counter Organization, Let's Get Organized. And it is hosted by a wonderful YouTuber, Therapeutic Designs by Deborah. Now, if you're not familiar with Deborah's channel, I will include the link to her channel and the playlist in the description when it becomes available. Now, she had a few simple rules. I'm going to give my notes so I can make sure I don't miss any of her rules. Now, she says on rule number one, please decorate an area under, the, under your counter. Two, please mention the host in your video. Please title your video under the counter organization. Number four, please upload your videos on February 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes. And number five, she wants you to use the hashtag under the counter organization. Now, you know the simple rules. Mention her, link her channel in your description along with the playlist. And guys, have fun. I am doing under the sink in my master bathroom, in my bathroom. Now, if you're not, if you're not aware, there's two bathrooms in this house. I have one, and my husband has the other. The other one is actually the guest bathroom, but he took it over and said it was his. Yeah. So, you remember a while back, I did a um, redo of my bathroom where I did it for me in the white, in the glam for girly. Yes, where I did the tile racks and everything. Well, one area I didn't touch is under my sink. I'm embarrassed to show y'all this because it is a hot mess. It really is. So, don't judge me. Laugh with me, but don't judge me. So I'm going to show you how it looks now. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to open the doors to the thunderstorm. Now, it is horrible in here. I have so much stuff over here that it is ridiculous. And this thing here has been with me for years and I need to find better use of it. Okay, now it is cleaned out 
but it needs to be wiped out and put some paper down. Okay, now I have the fabuloso and water, which I keep in this bottle koozie. The fabuloso. It's supposed to be in a purple one, but I didn't have another purple one, so I did it in pink. Purple spray and purple towel. Now, if you know me, you know I have a thing for this black and white rose paper. So that's what's going under here. So first, let me clean it out. Make sure it's dry. Okay. Now that it's pretty much dry, now I take this is some leftover from when I did, I think, the pantry shelves. So let me measure it. Okay. This is a small area in here, y'all, so. but sometimes I get a little frustrated putting down the paper so when I come back I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to put down the paper and I'll be back Now here is the finished product. I didn't use any bins or anything over here because I really didn't see the need to because the sink is really, really small underneath. So lining things up in um, the order that I normally use them is pretty good for me. Now on this side here is all shampoos, conditioners, and the peroxide is at the back. This line here is um, the agape oil and stuff at the back and then I have the toilet bowl cleaners here the bathroom cleaner this here is some conditioner that I use with water on my hair 
These here are teeth whitening strips. Make it a little bigger. These here are teeth whitening strips. Here is some shaving cream. These are lotions and oils and baby powders. This here is air fresheners, fabric freshener. At the bag, the black bag, most of you know that's MAC. Uh, when you use so many products of MAC, you get uh, free products. So I have, I think, three bottles in there, maybe four in there now. I have two in the room I need to put in there. And then I put the, the ear cleaner and then my travel facial brush is in the back. This is personal items here personal items this is the toothbrushes and the shave the razors and here's an extra bottle of deodorant that i keep in case the other one runs out and then that's uh the little perm i bought that i was going to try on my hair so here is the sink organized it looks a hundred percent better than it did now i know exactly what's under there <laughs> Because before, I did not know what I did with that Mac bag. I was trying to figure out where the crap that I put it. But now I found it under the sink behind all this mess I had in here. Now the three drawer container, I'll be using that in another area of the home. I'm thinking, I was thinking about putting it in my makeup room slash office. But I'm thinking I might put a small um, travel size uh, deodorants and toothpaste and mouthwash and those little packets of two brushes that I have for my guests, I think I'm going to put that in, put those in there and label the drawers and have it sitting on the shelf in the hall closet. That's what I think I'm going to do with that to keep it working since I've had it so long. Here is the organization under my sink. Man, am I glad I did that. If you haven't gone already to check out creativelymissme.com, check out my website where I have created forms to make planning easier for home organization and content creators. And don't forget to join for the quickest updates. If you like my content, you know what to do. Give your girl a thumbs up, comment, and share my video. And never stop exploring. Continue to the last screen. There's always something new on that last screen. And as always, this is Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me saying thank you for watching and you be blessed.